I think that you've got to be really clear about what is actually going on. You've got to rebut some of the myths, you've got to pull them apart. Um, stop relying on stereotypes and start understanding what the evidence tells us about our participation levels and actually ask for a, a fair go. And I think there are a whole range of ways that women can do that in the workplace. I think they have to be very on the ball about it. Uh, I think they have to look at how much they're being paid, the people who are being promoted around them and why they're not in consideration, for example. Um, and look at career planning as well. Look ahead. I suppose my advice to, to women starting out perhaps on the career track is to uh, be on the ball about putting your hand up and being part of the conversation. Don't let things go. Don't take something and think, oh, that's okay, I'll get onto that later. Make sure that you do it in the, in the way that suits you, but do raise some of the issues. We know with the gender pay gap, for example, that a lot of that starts early on in careers. We know there's a gender pay gap when graduates first join the workforce, for example. So the best thing you can do is to be onto that, to talk to your manager about it, make sure you raise these things. And in terms of promotion, one of the things that I've found from both of the sessions that I've done is that women don't put their hands up as easily as perhaps their male peers. So really, do think about what you want and how to ask for it. Role models are the most potent thing that we can have that can change the dynamics around gender. Uh, having women who are succeeding, who are visible, uh, absolutely crucial. You can't be what you can't see.